Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allah Tali Kombi and I'm back again with another video, guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. So, guys, today I'm actually gonna be talking about a few things. Um, I'm gonna be talking about things you should know before coming to Canada, and um, I'll be telling you about study permits and um, work permits, how that works actually. Because I've been getting a lot of questions from people like, oh, how does this work? Blah blah. So, I know what I just said, you know what, I'm actually gonna do a separate video for this, okay okay so when it comes about you coming to canada guys i will actually advise you something like um do your research your research is actually very important do your research when you're coming to canada guys because everybody's gonna tell you based on their experience so you need to pass through your own experience to know what actually works for you the way everybody comes to canada is actually different Don't let anybody control your coming to Canada. Don't let them. Don't don't use an agent, and the agent should be like, "Oh, you can't come to Canada. They can't allow you to come to Canada. You're not gonna make it or something." Don't listen to anybody. The thing I actually believe is like, if you've not tried something, there's no how you know if something is not gonna work for you or not. You get, yeah. I have a lot of people that have actually tried working in Canada like twice, three times, and they didn't get it, but they got it like the fourth or third time. Okay. So basically, whatever whatever plan you're having, if you have a plan of coming to Canada, just do your research well and know what works for you before you actually think of coming yeah i came through school so that was actually like one of the easiest ways of coming to canada a lot of people do express entry a lot of people do through work and all like that which i don't really know much about so basically i'm actually gonna advise you if you're planning to come to canada do your research talk to the right people and everything everybody's telling you put them on your palm okay you don't need to like you know accept what everybody says but just know like oh god is on your side whatever you put your hands into is actually gonna be positive and it's actually gonna work for you okay I'm actually gonna advise you, like, you know, if you wanna use agent, make sure you use a good agent that people have been using before. Don't use scam agents whereby they've not been to Canada before, or they don't even have any idea of how this thing works. Do you get? <laughs> so, those are like things I actually wanna, like, you know, touch upon when it comes to you coming to Canada and have a mindset of, okay, this is what I wanna come to come and do in Canada. Do your research. What course do I wanna come and study? How much do you, does it take for me to have an account um, to study in Canada? Once you come to Canada, once you get to Canada, you can always struggle your way out. A lot of people that actually take a year off school to like work, you know, get accommodation, work, um, get more money for next semester. Do you get? Is there a boy that is in Canada that are parents are from? They are very rich. Is there a boy that is in Canada from a very well-to-do family? You see some people hustling and you know trying to make sure that they actually have the best and um, the best for themselves. Yeah. At that point, I actually want to make sure when it comes to you working permit or your study permit, some people was asking like, oh, can you work? Are you going to collect your study permit and work permit at the same time? So basically, when you are coming to Canada to come and study, they will actually give you a paper at the airport. The paper at the airport is actually the one that is actually going to be your study your study permit. That's what they will give you at the airport. So this study permit, under the study permit, they will write that you are actually allowed to work for 20 hours on your study permit. As a student in Canada, you are generally allowed to work for 20 hours during your study in Canada. So if you have school from Monday to Friday, you can actually do 20 hours school. Because most times like classes in school during week is always like 20 hours. So 20 hours school and 20 hours work. So you get to work for 20 hours during the week. You're allowed to work for 20 hours during the week. You can work lower than that, but you shouldn't work more than that. Do you get? Yeah. That's how that over there. So when it comes to working permit, working permit is a separate paper from study permit. Study permit, they will include that you're allowed to work 20 hours. So work permit is a permit whereby they will allow you to work full time so you can work like a full complete like a full worker which is 40 hours in a week do you understand what i'm saying so you're allowed to work like 40 hours in a week as a full worker so which means after after like two weeks you should work like 80 hours do you get what i'm saying so it depends on what you're trying to do right because a lot of people have been asking me questions and they've actually been confusing they've been convinced about the old study permit and the work permit and the cleaning it's two different it's two different things so yeah you're allowed to work when you come to canada once you get the study permit so your study permit is the one that will show 20 hours that you're allowed to work for only 20 hours then your work permit is actually the one that will show you that you're actually allowed to work full time okay so let me break this thing down for you guys during my own side when i was doing hospitality management i had to apply for a work permit when i was when doing summer because i was going for co-op right so doing co-op um co-op is for four months and they expect you to work in an organization for four months so basically my study permit actually shows that i'm only allowed to work for 20 hours do you get so for my that kind of work i want to do i have to apply for another work permit so i applied for a work permit that shows who oh, i'm allowed to work for a muslim for 40 hours during holidays and all which was not really necessary because normally the rules is when you're in school you're meant to work for 20 hours but when you're out of school and you're with break when you're on 
public holiday, like school is on break and everything, you're allowed to work your 20, your complete 40 hours. So when there's Easter break, when there's um break at school, when there's um um school break at school, you're allowed to work 40 hours. Do you get? Do it maybe two weeks, four months, you're allowed to work 40 hours during that period. So sometimes you don't really need, but most people actually get work permits after they finish school. So work permit is given to you after you finish school like this. Now they do it like six months after you finish school, you collect your work permit. So you can be working like a full worker in Canada. Do you get am I making sense to you? Hope you guys are getting me. I know you guys are smart. I know you guys are getting me. So basically, you get your work permit after you finish school. After you finish school, guys. Unless you're going for a co-op and you need um work permit for it. That's a different situation. But after you finish school, you get you apply for your work permit and collect your work permit. So your work permit will give you extent. Your work permit will expire when your passport expire most times. So basically, for me, that I actually did a four-year program, my my work permit is like three year, three years. Do you get what I'm saying? So within that three years, they actually expire to apply for your study for your PR. PR is a permanent residence. I've actually explained this to, to me a lot of people before. I've said I've done a video about this before. So during that work permit period, they actually expect you to like get to your PR. So your PR is like permanent permanent residence in Canada, basically. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So some people actually get less than three years. So some people that come to school start to come and study in school for like a year to come and do a year program in Canada gets like one and a half years or three years. They might be lucky. But people are not always lucky. But most time they always give people that came to study a year program just one year. It depends. One of my friends was lucky to get like three years and he study. He came to study for only a year program. Do you get? So this is actually based on who actually attend to your paper, who helped you out to your papers when you submit your document and all like that. Sometimes this is actually low, guys. So don't confuse anything. Don't confuse everything at all, right? So what I actually touched on is, if you're planning to come to Canada, decide what you want to come and do in Canada. Do your research. Don't let anybody tell you no. They can't give you admission or they can't give you visa or they can't do anything. Do your research. Be around positive people. Or sometimes they even tell people what your plan is. Just do your plan by yourself. Work your papers out. When you feel you're actually on the right path, you can start asking questions. Oh, what do you think about? It? You don't necessarily have to tell everybody like, you want to come to Canada. You know, sometimes they have to say like, you know, do things within yourself first. Figure out like, when you get to the final stage, I know that oh yes, this thing is like a certain. You can start telling people. Dig it. I didn't tell a lot of people about my traveling to come to Canada because there's no way that's actually happy about your progress. Do you get what I'm saying? Guys? So you actually have to be very careful about what you say, what you tell people during this period. You can do your research. Ask who you feel can answer your question. Ask them questions. Don't be scared to text anybody. If you feel someone is in Canada, text them. Oh, what do you think about this? People are going to reply if they want to reply. If they don't reply you, ask someone else. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Move to the next person. Yeah. So that's what I really want to touch on, touch on today. I don't want you guys to be negative about the fact, oh my God, they're not going to give me a visa. Oh my God. If you don't try, there's no way you're going to know if they're not going to give you a visa or not. Just make sure you're doing the right thing. The right process is actually in place, guys. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye.